My book is about neuroscience and how it applies to organisations going through change. Um, I think we need to change the way we change in organisations. People recognise we've still not got it right. People still tr struggle in terms of change management. And for me, having worked in change management for many years, coming across neuroscience was a real eureka moment. Because at long last, here's science that helps us understand how people respond to change, why we find change difficult, what we need to, to get us through change. And for me, the neuroscience prevents, provides a real win-win in a sense, that, it, that from an organisational perspective, it's about how do you help people carry on performing at their best. And with a real focus on performance and productivity, that really matters to organisations. From an employee's perspective, it's all about um, how do you help people through change, how do you help them in terms of have it, be emotionally and mentally positive or going through change. So it's a real win-win, I think, for both employees and organisations. Um, I think the benefits are several fold. I mean, part of the book, the book, the initial part of it, explains a bit more about the brain and the set about the brain, because I'm a strong believer that if we can understand how people's brains work as leaders and organisations, then we can work with the brain, not, dis not despite it. And then the second part of the book is really, is, is really focused on both the science and the, and the practical. So it looks at aspects of change, so things such as um, our need for social connection at work. It's one of the areas we've hugely underestimated that um, as, as people at work, we, we need to feel that someone is on our side, someone's taking an interest in us. So it looks at the science behind that, why does that matter so much? And then it looks at some of the practical things that leaders and managers can do around that. It also looks at things like um, um, emotional control, the importance of staying calm under pressure when there's a lot of change going in the organisation. Emotions are contagious, especially the emotions of leaders. So how do leaders manage their emotions so they're setting the right tone for the rest of the organisation and help to keep people focused and performing? And that's a big theme of the book really, is about how do you help people keep on performing at their best? Because we all have those days when we know we're really sharp and focused and doing great work. Equally, I think we all have days where we're distracted, um, overwhelmed, feeling quite stressed about work, or we have days where we just can't quite get on with things because we've got a deadline, but it's five days away, and we kind of faff about, and we get to five o'clock and wonder what, where the day has gone. So the book is very much about if we can understand the brain, we can understand how we can help people keep focusing and performing each day at work. How do you get the best out of people's brains each day at work?